and another reason for why we should just get rid of mandatory public education. All right, guys, don't forget to follow us on other platforms. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so real quick, actually, before we get into the video, I just thought this article was funny. Um, Naomi Seipt had posted this. Uh, to save money, maybe you should skip breakfast. This was from the Wall Street Journal. I just thought it was funny because uh, this is really how these people think. Maybe you should just not be poor. Uh, have you tried that? You know, or if you're, hey, if you can't afford food, I guess you're just going to have to starve. If you want to save some money, you should just starve. Anyway, <laughs> just thought, uh, it's insane. It's like the people who are like, well, I, you know, uh, I don't have to worry about gas prices because I own an electric vehicle. It's like, okay. Anyway. Okay, woke Oregon school chiefs suspend need for high school high schoolers to prove math, reading, and writing skills to graduate for five more years to bolster minority students who don't test well. I mean, first of all, obviously, if I were a minority person, this would be incredibly insulting. They're basically just saying, hey, you're too stupid, or you're too... There's another word I want to use, but I'm not going to use it. Um... That's essentially what they're saying. And so I think if you're, it, it's like, it's the bigotry of like low expectations, right? If you were, if you were a minority, this should, <laughs> this should really offend you. Anyway, the state board of education ruled that students will no longer have to fulfill an essential skills requirement in order to graduate. In order to earn a diploma, graduating students were formally required to earn standardized test scores, indicating proficiency in reading, writing, and math. Yeah. Um... That's because the whole idea was we, you know, you want to make sure that you know what you're supposed to know, like that the public education system is doing its job and teaching you these subjects. Um, but anyway, like I said, look, I think I think we should get a, get rid of the requirement for public education. I think if you want to keep the system there, fine, but I, I just think we should get rid of it at this point. You know, other than the fact that, you know, you're sending your kids to be indoctrinated essentially if you're looking at what's going on in education today certainly with you know a lot of left leftist activism <clears throat> besides this leftist activism in education besides that though I, I think you know there's also the issue of a lot of public public education systems just don't they don't really work very well especially like in the inner cities and there are some there's some other reasons for that some cultural issues and things as well crime but uh, we either need to seriously rethink public education or just get rid of it and i also think too one of the problems i have with public education is you know imagine you send your children to this government facility and you're children aren't even safe at that government facility. The government forces you to send your children there, but then won't do anything actually to ensure the safety of the children in that facility. Instead, what they'll say is, well, in order for your children to be safe, you need to give up your rights, i.e. gun control. Instead of, the obvious answer should be, well, if the government's going to require me to send my children to a government facility, then the government should be responsible for safeguarding the individuals inside. <laughs> Uh, and, and there are plenty of ways to do that. We just don't do that for whatever reason. Well, for, the reason is because they want to take away rights. But anyway, Oregon school chiefs have again suspended the need for high schoolers to prove their math, reading, and writing skills in order to graduate. The State Board of Education voted last week to continue the suspension for another five years amid claims they are unfair on minority students who don't test well. In order to earn a diploma, graduating students were previously required to earn standardized test scores ind indicating proficiency, yada, yada. Yeah, look, and the, I disagree with, this is the approach generally to a lot of things, is like, if people can't make the standard to lower the standard, I disagree. I disagree with this mentality generally. Like, don't lower the standard. Help and push people into making the standard or ex exceeding the standard. Especially looking at public education, the standards aren't that high anyway. But this was put on pause during the pandemic as standardized tests weren't happening amid school closures. Following a unanimous vote by the Oregon State Board of Education last week, the requirement will not be in place for at least the next five years. Opponents of the essential skills requirement argued it was harmful to students of color, students with disabilities, and those learning English as a second language. Uh, well, for, it's not harmful to anybody, first of all. Let's get that out of the way. It's not harmful. 
Okay. If the point of public education is to make sure that you're proficient in these particular skills, then you need to make sure that people are proficient in these particular skills. Um, I, I, these groups are frequently required to take extra math and writing classes in their senior year to prove they deserve to graduate. Yeah, that sucks. If you don't speak English, but you need to be proficient in English because you live in an English-speaking country, well, yeah, I mean, you're going to have to put in a little extra work. If I moved to another country... Um, and they, it, it wasn't an English-speaking country, I'm going to have to put in a little extra work in order to make sure I'm proficient in that particular language. <laughs> Duh. That's the whole point. Again, this is, this is equity nonsense, right? This is trying to make, trying to force everybody to be at the lowest level possible together. But board members underscored that state-mandated Standardized tests will still be administered to most Oregon high school students. They just won't be used to determine whether a student has the skills necessary to graduate, which I guess makes sense because you would still need those uh, standardized test scores, I suppose, if you're looking at um, maybe certain universities going to college. I mean, of course, you have to take the SAT, which isn't a school-administered test, but I imagine it might help. Um, the only thing we are suspending is the inappropriate use of how those assessments were being used. State board member Vicky Lopez Sanchez, a dean at Portland Community College, said Thursday. It's not inappropriate. It's not inappropriate to make sure you know what you're supposed to know coming out of school. Again, you might we, we, we just get rid of get rid of public education. It serves no purpose if this is going to be the other than the other reasons I already listed. It serves no purpose if you're not going to assure that the people who are graduating the system know what the system was designed to teach. I think that really is in the best interest of Oregon students. Hundreds of people submitted public comments urging the board to reinstate the standards. Well, yeah. And I bet, I guarantee you many of them are people of color, are minority, minority individuals, because rightfully so, they should be offended by this. I mean, just imagine, like I said at the beginning of this, Listen, they're not going to frame it this way because, you know, got to be politically correct. But y'all are too stupid to pass the requ the the requirements to meet the standards. So we're just going to get rid of the standards. <laughs> but board chair Guadalupe Martinez Zapata described the pushback as a campaign of misinformation. Right, 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 right. right. It's misinformation that you guys are doing this. During a September meeting, she likened rhetoric about cultural and social norms being the underlying reason for underperformance on assessments by systemically marginalized students to racial superior superiority arguments. Well, there are some cultural and social problems, right, and, and environmental problems for why people would underperform. That doesn't mean you should get rid of the, the standards, Again, you as, a, as, a, as an educator should do your best, you know, really just to meet, to, to have your students meet those standards or exceed those standards. And from a, a, an environmental standpoint, you know, look, the, the hard, people don't want to do the hard work of like actually building these communities up. They just want to make everybody start lower, <laughs> right? They don't want to put in the, the resources, put in the time, the energy it's going to take to, to help people to, to, make these communities better. It's not, it is not bigoted. It is not racist to want your student to be able to actually learn. A former gubernatorial candidate, Christine Drazen, told Fox News. I agree. Drazen ran for governor last year, losing to Democrat Tina Kotek by less than 4% of the vote. The overhaul of the skills requirement is part of a bigger issue, she said. As education officials are now considering equity grading instead of the traditional A to F scale. We'll say, there you go. I mean, uh, you know, grading people on a curve based on the color of their skin. Again, we're just heading, we're just heading full steam into uh, racism. Just, again, it's, it's racism, but the, the beneficiary of that racism is, is a different race this time. But it's still racism. They're now moving forward with an agenda that says if you cheat, you can't be flunked. If you don't show up, you don't get a zero. They're not going to have homework that they grade because having homework somehow they view as being inequitable. I don't like homework anyway. I think homework is stupid. Why? 
if I'm at school, that I'm at school. Those are the hours in which I should be learning from this public education system. I shouldn't have homework. That when I go home, that's time with my family. That's how I look at it. So I, I don't see a problem with the homework thing. But I, I not for some bullshit inequity, you know, uh, equity reason. But just for the fact that homework is stupid. Anyway, look, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. I think, like I said, I think this is insane. Um, again, the bigotry of low expectations. You know, vote, vote, uh, especially in local elections, you know, vote people in office who like actually care about the communities that they're in and want to better those communities, not make those communities worse by basically trying to put everybody at the bottom um, and, 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 as, and essentially making people dumber, <laughs> dumber and more racist, right? That's what this does. But anyway, uh, yeah, take care. Mm -hmm.